and she went right through that wall and ended up into the breakfast room. So welcome to Wassail Woodworking. On today's episode, we're gonna be making this stop sign. And this is to allow you as you're pulling in the parking garage not to actually go through the wall and end up in the breakfast room. It also allows you to stop with a very consistent six inches or so in front of your car without actually hitting the cabinet and pushing it through the wall. Years ago, we had a friend of ours and her daughter was learning how to drive and she went right through that wall and ended up into the breakfast room and they had to make all those repairs. Luckily it didn't damage the car too much, but it took the wall out completely. And um, while this hasn't happened to us, I wanna make sure it doesn't, but this is a fun project that uses an Arduino microcontroller to tell you basically how far you need to pull up and stop. So uh, I think you're gonna love this episode. So let's watch as we actually make the parts uh, on the CNC, work up the electronics, and install it, and show you how it works. So join me in watching this. So the material I'm using here is a plastic, and it's called Color Core. It's by the King Plastic Corporation, and it's really good stuff. I bought this on eBay. It cuts well, and the great thing is when you cut on the CNC, you just got to take off that top layer to show the white inner core. So now we're at the CNC machine, and in this view, you can see the CNC going to town, um, starting some of the cutting, um, and after a bit, you can start to really see how this is taking shape. My wife drives a Jeep Wrangler, and so I wanted the stop sign to have the Jeep look. And the LED holes have been cut, along with the holes in the headlights of the logo. that will be red to tell you when to stop. So now we're going to be cutting all the pathways on the back of the stop sign. And you can see those being cut initially, and then the CNC goes into cutting the center where the Arduino Nano Microcontroller will sit and all the wires will run to. So it takes a while to run through this and uh, the next thing you know we uh, go through a time lapse here and you can see the end when it's cleaning everything up and then it's off to the bandsaw and we're going to cut the, uh, really follow the pattern that's been cut and trim it all up and then we're going to take it off to the disc sander on the belt sander and uh, smooth everything up so it looks, uh, looks really good. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I'm soldering the uh, wires onto the uh, resistors right here. All right, so I take the one of the resistors over there. I take the put some solder on the wire, wire lead, and then just run that over it seconds it's uh, all secured. So what I've already done here is I've taken the LEDs and I've soldered them onto the wires themselves I'm using extremely flexible um, silicone jacketed wire here 28 gauge so this should work just fine. So I'm going to take all these and uh, then I'm going to start taking the LEDs and holding the LEDs in place. Uh, the thing you need to do is then take soldering iron and uh, pre-tin the LEDs. Take a black wire and put it on the ground, which is the short one. And then come back and take the other resistor. And there we go. Just like that. There's another one done. Okay, so I have this chip. <coughs> and uh this is a Arduino Nano. So let's take a second and uh, acknowledge the fact that uh, the basis of this came from a website on Instructables uh, called Arduino Parking Assistance. So I used an Arduino Nano and it was this website here that I went to. So the text that's in red, type that in and go check a look at this great website. 
and I'm gonna be running all the LEDs to it. So I'm gonna put that to the side for right now. I got that glue gun and I'm going to start gluing in all of the colors starting with the reds and making sure they're pushed all the way to the front and then putting a dab of hot glue on them to hold them into position. Then taking the green ones, gluing the green ones in as well. There we go. So now all the pieces are actually in here and look good. So now I gotta figure out how to deal with this rat, rat's nest. So I'm sitting here editing this video, realizing I could put a lot more information on how to use Arduino Nano and hook everything up. And I'm willing to do so, but that's really gonna have to be a second video. If you want me to do so, put a comment below saying, show me the details and give me a thumbs up. If I get over a hundred of those comments, what I'll do is I'll make part two of that video. So anyway, uh, let's see what happens and let's get back to the video. So now it's back to the table saw and we're gonna cut up a two by four. This is just a piece I had around that I'd uh, used to do some spray painting so you can see all that on there. So I'm going to cut the edge off uh, to bring it in more towards like two and a half to three inches wide because I felt like that was a better proportion for the post that will hold the stop sign. And uh, so I run it through and uh, finish that off. And then it's uh, just a matter of cutting it to length. I forget the exact length. You may be able to see it on here with the tape measure. Uh, but I flip it over, measure it out, and in this case it really had to do with how hot, tall the uh, shelving unit was that I was going to attach it to. And um, I run it through, trim that off, and uh, then it's off to the planer where we're going to uh, clean it up on all four surfaces. So we start by running it through just to take care of the two flat faces. And I run it through actually quite a few times, but you're only going to see a couple because this is uh, really not that exciting. Uh, but once I uh, take that through, I smooth it up, then I actually turn it on its edge and raise the planer up and take care of those two edges um, so that I don't have to worry about sanding. It just makes it quicker. And uh, after a couple passes through the planer, it's off to take it over to the uh, CNC machine. So once everything's cleaned up real nice, I sand it up and take it over to the CNC machine where I'll allow it to cut the pocket for the ultrasonic sensor that measures the distance from the car to the sign and as well as the little container for all the uh, wires on the back of the stop sign. And once I got that done, I actually had to run it over to the router table because I realized that this really should have been cut completely through. So instead of redoing it, I just take it over use a flush cutting bit but I made a mistake right here and you can see whoops it looks like it just cracked but I glued it together and it was fine so now that I got the electronics together it's time to mount the post um, it's been taken out sanded and painted gray uh, of course this could be any color whatever you think works best and uh, this recreation I'm taking it and I'm screwing it to the back of the stop sign and I don't want that screw to go all the way through the front so you have to make sure you have the right length and you may have noticed that there was tape on the bit so I knew how far to uh, drill. So I just mounted one screw and then I flip it over and get out the old tri-square and make sure that everything is uh, put together properly, the square so that it's not crooked. And then I flip it back over and go ahead and drill in another screw. And uh, really that's all it takes to fasten this together. As you can see that pocket in the back uh, holds all of the parts and allows you to uh, get in there and do the last bit of soldering for the power supply and the ultrasonic, uh, or the wires going to the ultrasonic detector that we'll show to you in just one minute here. So I'm uh, back and I'm working on the sensor and I'm gonna solder the wires to it.
So now I'm going to take these and heat shrink them. All right. That, that did that. So now it's a matter of putting these where it's flush on this side. Eventually that will be glued in place. But for now, I just want to figure out the length. Tin ends and solder in place. So here it is, and this is actually the original stop sign that I gave my wife for Christmas. And as you can see, as you roll in, the detector will check you out and it starts to light up in the circle. And once you get close enough, the green lights go away and it turns to red. And that's when you know you should stop and turn the car off. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. And like I said earlier, if you'd like to see part two of this series, I'll be happy to make it where I show the Arduino Nano and how to hook it all up. Just give me a thumbs up and comment below. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe so you can watch all my other videos that are out there. Thanks for watching.